Prince George and Prince William may lock horns for years to come if the Duke of Cambridge does not take his son to the Euro 2020 final this Sunday. Critics speculated, George delighted royal fans when he attended England's game against Germany at Wembley Stadium at the end of last month. And wore a suit which matched his father's. England were victorious after scoring 2-0. Meaning the team could go on to play Ukraine in the quarter-finals of the European Championship. William and his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, rarely take their children to such public outings. So royal watchers deduced that their eldest son must have been very persuasive to twist his parents' arms. Speaking on Pod Save the Queen, host Anne Gripper and the Daily Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers speculated whether George would attend this week's game, which took place on Wednesday. Speaking just hours before England's match against Denmark in the semi-finals. Moose Gripper said, if I were Prince George, although the match kicks off at 8 o'clock this week rather than the 5 o'clock match he went to last week, I think I would be like Dad, but England always win when I watch them at Wembley, it's really important. I don't mind if I have school tomorrow, it's for the good of the nation, I have to be there. However, Mr. Myers pointed out that as a seven-year-old, George probably goes to bed around 8 p.m., when most matches start. Moose Gripper said, if we do win tonight and are playing on Sunday night, the final, that's another 8 o'clock, and can you imagine? She claimed George would never forgive his father for not letting him watch the final of Euro 2020 live. Moose Gripper speculated, it would be used against William, for years and years to come on arguments. England were victorious in the semi-final match against Denmark, leaving the pitch with a 2-1 win. Meaning football fans up and down the country are exhilarated to see England in the final of a men's tournament for the first time since 1966. Another royal commentator, biographer Duncan Larkham, claimed, Prince William is George's absolute hero. He thinks his dad's the most perfect person on the planet. But, speaking to OK, Mr. Larkham continued, William would never have normally taken him to the football because it was an official outing in his role as president of the FA, but George absolutely begged to be allowed to come along. Kate and William are at pains to never expose the children unnecessarily to the cameras but he twisted their arm eventually. After one of the Cambridge's friends confided in Mr. Larkham, he claimed that Kate attended the game so she could stay with their son while William could meet all the dignitaries present. He added, George idolizes his dad. That's why we saw him looking so smart in his suit, he really wanted to dress like William. The royal commentator continued, he's becoming a pretty big character and has both of his parents eating out of the palm of his hand. As the couple's eldest child, George is set to one day inherit the throne himself. It's believed that William told him about his fate last year, around his seventh birthday. But he still attempts to give the young royal a relatively normal childhood away from the public eye. On the rare occasion that the Cambridges do step out as a family of five, William's closeness with George is often plain to see. While Kate tends to hold the hands of the youngest children, six-year-old Princess Charlotte and three-year-old Prince Louis. William holds George's hand, and regularly checks in with his son in public, however, William is president of the Football Association, FA, meaning that when England play Italy in Sunday's final. He is going to have to be there in an official capacity. Kate is now isolating at Kensington Palace, after being notified that she had been in contact with a positive COVID-19 case. So it's not clear if she will be able to attend the match and supervise George. William also chose not to take George to the England vs Denmark game on Wednesday.